What's up people, you're watching Cartel TV and I'm Jenny. Amelia reviewed the F-Pace and loved it. Well, the Velar shares the same platform, but seems worlds apart from the F-Pace. It's simply on another level. So what am I reviewing? It's the 2018 Range Rover Velar First Edition, with a few extra bits and pieces I'll be telling you about later. Officially a mid-size SUV, the Velar packs the size and luxury of more upmarket cars. It's easy to establish, even from first glance, that Range Rover has put a lot into it. The size and sophistication are clear. There is a distinguished yet angular theme with cleverly placed details that add spice but never vulgar, exactly what a luxury car should present. It draws glances and inspires confidence. No cladding around the wheels is a great idea as those plastic additions would surely diminish the poise of the Velar. The lower rear section tilts up, shrinking it visually and resolving that clumsy look that many SUVs have from the back. However, the rear window is small, which, while adding to the great looks, does limit rear visibility. Luckily, there is a great reversing camera. This dark line incorporated into the taillights is a nice little contrast detail. One word to describe the Velar exterior? Smooth. The R-Dynamic gets 20-inch wheels, but I get 22-inch, nine-split-spoke alloys. Whoop, whoop. It's also got black cap side mirrors, cool fins in the front air intakes and several other details to set it apart, especially in this copper colour that contrasts this flux silver paint. There's just so much to talk about with this fella. So how do you match the door handles to this smooth scheme? Make them invisible. The door handles are retractable. When you get in, they come out and when you drive away, they disappear. There are several inline four and V6 options as well as petrol and diesel variants to choose from. This beauty I have here is the P380. It's a three litre supercharged V6 petrol with 280 kilowatts of power and 450 newton meters of torque. Delicioso. Being a V6 petrol means there's plenty of power to push this nearly 1.9 ton SUV. However, the V6 diesel with 221 kilowatts and a massive 700 newton meters of torque will be the better tower. Combined fuel efficiency is 9.4 litres, which is okay. The four-pot diesel is better, but then you'll be sacrificing power. Get behind the wheel and you will experience the quiet capability that Range Rover is renowned for. So comfortable and it packs optional air suspension. There is a touch of body roll. But considering this is a luxury car, comfort is more important than high-speed cornering ability. Handling, it's awesome. Very direct and precise, but steering is a little bit lighter than I thought it would be. Again, a trade-off for the luxury class. The engine is paired with an 8-speed automatic from ZF, a big part of why the Velar is so fuel efficient and so comfortable. The gearbox shifts seamlessly at the precise time and depending on the amount of throttle. So intuitive. Is the gearbox control odd? Why, yes it is. Most people aren't used to operating gears the same way they change the temperature of the aircon, and I am one of them. Of course you'll get used to it, but continuously alternating between drive and reverse while parking could definitely be easier. If you ever get it off-road, you'll see the Velar is a proper Range Rover with all-wheel drive and active locking rear diff. In true Range Rover style, this is definitely one capable off-roader. Despite being a car that will rarely see dirty streets, let alone proper off-road tracks. So you've been listening to me, but wouldn't you like to hear from Velar? The interior is pure pleasure. The elegance of the exterior is carried over to the inside. Do you remember the door handles? The transmission control also glides upwards from the central console. The angled infotainment system makes operation really easy and it adds to the premium feel. These dark, elegant surfaces come alive with screens, three of them in total. Well, you didn't expect there would be analog dials, did you? Instrumentation comes from a 12.3 inch digital cluster, but there are two more displays in the central console. The top one is used for connectivity, navigation and media, while the lower one helps you control the vehicle settings and modes including climate control. We felt that we should mention the infotainment system. I mean, it's a fantastic system. It's got more features than you'd ever need, but it doesn't have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And sometimes it's just the simple things that make life easy. Another footnote, these two dials control a myriad of features. 
they can take some time to get used to. However, once you're used to it, it becomes quite simple. Now, we felt we should mention that this one has massage seats, and there's a whole range of settings to experience. Now, it's difficult for us to film the massage seats in operation, but I can show you me enjoying them. Ah, take me to that special place. Footnote, this massive steering wheel really grew on me. As you can imagine, materials fit and finish are pure opulence. First edition also adds chrome and aluminium details, ebony morzine headlining and perforated leather seats offer great comfort. This trim level gets Meridian sound system with 23 speakers. Step in the back and you'll see nice legroom and headroom. Even rear passengers get electric backrest adjustment. So spoiled. Gesture trunk opening works great and reveals plenty of space. The trunk is 632 litres, but Range Rover measures it to the roof line. Most others only measure it to the window line. Even standard safety equipment in the base model is amazing. With features like AEB, pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, amazingly wide angle reversing camera, traction control, stability control, roll control, cornering brake control, emergency brake assist, heel descent and launch assist, gradient release control, trailer stability assist, and much, much more. Higher trim levels add bonuses such as blind spot, rear traffic and driver conditions monitors, lane keep assist, automatic parking, and I've also got the head up display option. The Velar starting price is around 70,000, which is surprisingly reasonably priced and not something that we're particularly used to seeing in a Range Rover. It offers great perks, delicious design, loads of safety and customization options. The sheer amount of premium options and trim levels can up the price significantly. And this one I have here with all the add-ons fit for royalty will cost you just over 180,000 on road. Fortunately, even the standard car is packed with great features and it doesn't leave much to be desired. In fact, the Velar is one of the best cars I reviewed so far. So how do I go back from here? Thanks again for watching Cartel TV. And for more information on the Velar, go to our website. We'll also have a list of all the specs from this specific car. And please follow us on social media. So we look forward to seeing you next time. Peace.